N'Kobe Dean, this is your chance. Don't let us down. gigantic, earth-shattering possible news as the Eagles are going to be without Devin White in Brazil. That's right. His first game as an Eagle. His chance at redemption. My high hopes in him have all come crashing to the ground because Devin White will not play on on Friday. Uh, we got a lot going on. It, this is kind of crazy, but the linebacking situation has a lot of young, talented guys, I think. However, do we really have the veteran presence that we need at that linebacking position? That's the question. Uh, Zach, Perman, Zach Berman is reporting this. Important update. Linebacker Devin White will not travel to Sao Paulo uh, with the Eagles. Uh, the Eagles held an a actual walkthrough before boarding a flight, and in the injury report was this. Devin White ankle did not practice out. Isaiah Rogers hand, A.G. Brown rest, and Landon Dickerson rest. Um, we talked about the, the Devin White ankle injury popping up a few days ago, and um, that's not even the interesting thing with this whole thing because the Eagles put out an unofficial depth chart. I believe it was like last week. We talked about it, and in the depth chart, they basically had uh, Devin White and the Kobe Dean splitting reps um, making it seem like depending upon what they're, what package they're in, um, you know, either one would be switching. But what we're hearing now, and John and and, and Jeff McLean, well, not John McLean from Die Hard, but Jeff McLean is reporting this. Uh, Nicobe Dean was slated to be the Eagles' starting Mike linebacker before he. The team listed Devin White on the injury report on Tuesday, NFL sources said. Dean was uh, Dean beat out White in training camp. It is unclear what role had for White, if any, on defense. Nevertheless, he wasn't gonna he wasn't on the plane and the team departed for Brazil this morning. So he's saying that Devin White wasn't even gonna start. That, that N'Kobe Dean has, had beat him out. Now, there are two ways I think about this. On one hand, it's disappointing because I really have high hopes for Devin White. This doesn't look like a good start. And on the other hand, man, I, I couldn't ask for more for Devin White. I mean, I mean for N'Kobe Dean. This is exactly what we wanted. We wanted N'Kobe Dean to show up, and he has. And it even goes to this point even further. Now, this is the first that I've actually heard of this, okay? So get this, Albert Breer is reporting this. There were murmurs that the Eagles could trade Devin White before the cutdown. Zach Bond and Kobe Dean both were really good in camp. So fair or not, White missing the opener won't help his case for a big role in defense. So it looks like the Kobe Dean is the man and the Kobe Dean is, is basically the best linebacker the Eagles have, according to Vic Fangio. And I'm okay with that. I, I mean, that's what you want. You want your young third-round pick to finally develop and finally show something. So I'm okay with that. I'm disappointed, very disappointed, that it looks like, you know, we're in a situation with White. We have to first see how injured he is, okay? Is this just a, you know, a few-week thing? Now, you play Friday, then you don't have to play again again till I believe, uh, the following Monday. So they're going to get a, like over a full week to rest. We'll see if he's ready to go week two. But he ain't playing week one. And, and, and I really had a lot of high hopes for Devin White. And I, and I was hoping the combination, truthfully, would have been Devin White and N'Kobe Dean. But they, they want N'Kobe Dean at that Mike linebacker. And uh, this is his chance. N'Kobe Dean gets his chance because all eyes... All eyes are going to be on N'Kobe Dean. If he goes out and he misses some tackles and he has a bad game, guess what? Everybody's going to talk about it. The pressure is going to be magnified 
sevenfold. If he goes out there and he has a great game, it's, it, it's probably not going to be talked about enough. So N'Kobe Dean's got a lot of pressure on him to go out and to produce, okay? Um, but, man, I, I'm disappointed with the whole White situation. Now, White's not making that money. I think, I think he's not making a lot of money. I think he's got, like... I think it's got like three, three or four and a half million dollars guaranteed. That's all the Eagles have locked up in him. So they don't have a lot of money locked into him. They didn't invest highly on him. He was only here on a one-year deal. So yeah, if if you get a guy like Nicobe Dean out playing him, you're damn right you're gonna play him. And and really that's the way it should be. So on one hand, I'm yeah I'm upset about Devin White. I was excited to see him as an Eagle. I wanted to see him redeem himself. Uh, this is not the start you want. Uh, on the other hand, there is no question that, that I don't know. From the point of the open practice where I thought N'Kobe Dean looked horrible, from, from that point after that to uh, the end of preseason, really, N'Kobe Dean was just really good. From the first preseason game, he was clearly the best linebacker on the field. There, there's no question about that, uh, at least from what we saw. So my my, situa- my my feelings with the linebacker in general is this. I'm scared to hell. I'm scared to hell of the linebackers we got and what's going on here. I, I truly am. And the, and the reason is this. I like the young, some of the young linebackers we have. I, I, I like N'Kobe Dean. Um, I like Trotter Jr. I like Ben Van Sumeren. Uh, as, as far as Zach Bond's concerned, I have to see him play. I'm, I'm not sold on anything with him. All right, but uh, you got some young guys at the linebacker spot. But is that enough? Do you have? Do you need a veteran presence? Are the Eagles too thin at the linebacking position? I mean, you, I mean the one thing with Nicobe Dean, and one of the big problems with Nicobe Dean has been his inability to stay healthy. So now, are we? Or is it fair to say, all right, Nicobe Dean's going to come in for 17 games? And go out there and just kill it. Is, is it fair to say that? Uh, can we expect that he that he stays healthy? Hopefully he does. I I wish injury upon no man. I I don't like to even count an injury as potentially being something that could happen to a player. Because let's face it, at the end of the day, it could happen to any player no matter what. So you can't hold it against Nicobe Dean. But he's got to go out there and prove he can stay healthy. Um, I worry about the depth at, at, at linebacker and, and the young guys. I really do. Um, and I still think for Devin White going forward in the future, you know, assuming that the ankle injury isn't something that's going to keep him out long term, uh, I still th- have high hopes for him to make an impact on this defense and to be something. Um, he's got to be healthy first. We've got to figure out how bad the ankle injury is. Uh, but it's a long season, and now, right now, going into Friday's game, this is N'Kobe Dean's opportunity. This is his chance, and he's got to go out there, and he's got to kill. If he goes out there and has a big game, then you know what? People will be like, okay, great, but that'll be it. If he has a bad game, that's all we'll hear about for two weeks. It's the unfair truth of the whole matter, but, yeah, it's going to be interesting, and I think my man Jeremiah Trotter Jr., uh, he he's going to make his move at some point too. Uh, I really don't know what to expect from from Bond. Uh, Nicobe Dean, I think he's going to go out there, and I actually think he's going to play good. I actually think Nicobe Dean is a good player. I think the the, the situation with Nicobe is just you got to stay healthy. You know, sometimes as as fans, I'm guilty of this. I don't think I'm guilty in the Nicobe Dean situation, but I'm guilty of this for many other players as probably many Eagle fans are. Sometimes we're just too damn impatient. We, we, we just forget, you know, uh, back in the day, guys would have three, four years to develop. Now, if a guy doesn't go out and have a good rookie year, we want to label him a bust. And you, you just can't do that. You can't label him a bust because, uh, or, or any player after one year. You know, I always look at one year for a rookie as a starting point. You know, and then what jump do they make from year one to year two? And then I think year two to year three is usually when you see another jump. All all eyes on N'Kobe Dean. Now, I'm excited for N'Kobe Dean to go out there and, and, and make his mark and prove people wrong. I am. 
Um, he's he's going to get his chance, and hopefully, hopefully with White, he's back by by uh, week two, and we don't have to worry about this. I don't even care if he's on the bench. We just need the bodies, and then you know we'll see guys like Trotter Jr. and stuff emerge. Um, but Nicobe Dean gets his chance. Devin White, he's out, and that's that's kind of crazy. Uh, I will have a uh, Eagles um, Packers preview video pre and prediction. Tonight, uh, it'll be out later. Don't forget Thursday, we got the season opener. Chiefs, Ravens, we'll be streaming that. Uh, and it's about to get really, really real. Uh, with that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a dingbat. Remember, it's how we vision, baby. We're all just living in it. You know, I talked about Jeremiah Trotter Jr. being a young guy who I think is also uh, going to make his his play at some point. Uh, shout out to Ben Van Sumeren also. I actually think Ben Van Sumeren is a player too. Uh, he's very, very talented, and I think it's going to be hard to keep him off the field. The Eagles got some talent at linebacker. The question is, is do they have enough depth, especially early in this season? Denzel Washington, out. Hi, Michael Anthony, Fitness Hit, MAF. Oh, folks. The brother screwed us.